Welcome to my weekly video blog. And as you can see, I'm modelling my rather nice new dressing gown. Um, I know it looks on your screen as if it's a bit brown, but actually it's a dark purple. I don't know if I can get it in the light, you can probably see it a bit better. It is a nice dark purple, it's thermal, and it's very nice. And it's come just in time for the colder weather <laughs> we had last night. Um, you may have noticed from uh, the beginning that, unfortunately, uh, the Pulver House of Birds has suffered um, a death this week. Uh, little Boom died, um, and it was, in one way it was quite quick, and in another way it's been going on for a long time. I raised concerns about a month and a half ago that he was ill, but showing very little in the way of symptoms. Um, and of course he was on uh, the antibiotics just as all the birds were um, in the last couple of weeks because of uh, the outbreak of the respiratory uh, tract um, infection and it made no difference. Um, when I did finally get him to the vets uh, they told me that there wasn't much more I could have done. Had I come in earlier with no symptoms they would have just prescribed Batril <laughs> which is sort of what he'd been on anyway. And the fact that that hadn't worked showed that it was not bacterial uh, based. Um, what happened was his leg seized up and I assumed he'd had a stroke because he couldn't move one side of his body. And the uh, a vet told me that with budges um, the nerve to the leg runs through the kidney in fact. And when there's a problem with the kidney or there's a urinary tract um, cancers or infections or stuff like that, uh, it, the leg goes. Um, so it's a sort of outward uh, uh, sign that there's something wrong with the kidneys. Um, he did an inspection, couldn't find any nodes or anything like that, so he put it down to um, kidney failure, in fact, and little Boom died later that day. Um, on the other hand, uh, I was very quick to replace him. Um, if you hear that squawking, there are starlings outside my window who are fighting over the fat balls that are on my uh, on my little area where I sort of hang bird um, stuff. There's a load of sparrows, there's two starlings, and they, they fight. They actually physically fight. In mid-air, they pull each other's feathers out. I had no idea that food was getting so scarce so early in the year. But there we are, so I've put out an extra fat ball and that's just made things worse. <laughs> um, yes, yeah, so I've bought uh, an extra, um, well, a replacement. Uh, the first blue budgie I've had since Jen's, since the original. Um, and he's called Ulysses, but as I struggle to spell that, um, Uli will do for short. <laughs> so, uh, so there we are. You can obviously expect uh, updates on, uh, on that. Um, I've been on my holiday this week, and I'm still on holiday next week, and what I've been doing this week is focusing on most of the administrative tasks. So you haven't seen a lot of videos, you haven't seen much really. But be assured that most of those are now complete, and next week will be more exciting. Next week is our, um, if weather permitting of course, it's been rather uh, okay this last week. I wouldn't say the weather's been good, but it's been not raining uh, particularly. It's been good enough to go doing uh, some of our trips so hopefully that will happen. Next Saturday uh, the blog will come to you from Whitby. Um, Nan has paid for uh, uh, an all expenses paid one day trip uh, this holiday which is very very kind of her. So we're going to Whitby which will be fantastic no matter what the weather. Um, so that's uh, hopefully what's coming up next week. There's been a little problem um, with uh, the, those sort of festivities which was due to start uh, today in fact because as you know we're in the Kingdom season now, we've had the Feast of All Saints, we're about to have the Feast of All Souls which means it's bonfire night or very close and uh, Harrogate Borough Council and the Rotary Club, whatever it is, always put on a firework display on the weekend closest, uh, which of course is, is this weekend. Now, usually the whole family would congregate 
um, with my parents, head there, watch the fireworks, head back, and then we'd all indulge in, bizarrely enough, uh, hot dogs and tomato soup. Don't ask me how that combination appeared in the first place, but it's the tradition we've been following for the last five or six years at least. Um, and so uh, that's been cancelled. That's to say that the fireworks, as far as I know, are still going on. But the, the big thing with my parents has been cancelled. Various members of our family have gone down with a, an early strain of the neurovirus, which is um, particularly nasty. This strain isn't too bad, in fact. But it is, like all uh, those viruses, very, very infectious, and I do not want it. And so uh, it's not happening. We're not congregating like that. I haven't decided whether I'm going to go yet or not on my own. I think I probably will, but only if the weather is decent enough that I can take you along to film it, uh, as has been my tradition sort of since uh, 2008, although one year it was raining, so I didn't. <laughs> um, so it will depend. Um, you know, look out on my, uh, my YouTube, I suppose, for updates, and if it's not up there by the end of tonight, then uh, I didn't go. <laughs> And I think that's probably about it for this week, so I'm going to enjoy uh, my next week um, next week holiday uh, in my beautiful dressing gown, bought with golden bowl money, I hasten to add. Um, and uh, I'll see you all in Whitby.